in this video we are going to discuss memory organization in 8057 8057 has two on chip memories first one ram memory which is also called as a data memory of 8051 and second one rom memory which is also called as the program or core memory of a 8051 first of all we will see ram memory organization in detail 8051 has on chip RAM of size 128 bytes. The 128 bytes of RAM assign address from 00H to the 70FH. This 128 bytes of RAM is divided into three different groups as first register bank, which takes 32 bytes of a memory, second one bit addressable RAM which takes 16 bytes of a memory and third one scratch pad which is also called as a general purpose RAM which takes 80 bytes of a RAM memory. Now we'll see how 128 bytes of a RAM memory is divided into these three different groups. Let us consider this as a RAM memory. We have seen that the RAM memory is of total size 128 bytes. This 128 bytes is having address starting from 00H to the 70FH. We have seen that this total 128 bytes of RAM memory is divided into three different groups. First group is a register bank, which is also used for the stack, which is having the address starting from 00H to the 1FH. So it occupies a total of 32 bytes of a memory. The second group is bit addressable area, which is having address starting from 20H to the 2FH. So this bit addressable area occupies a total of 16 bytes on a RAM memory. And third group, which is also called as a scratch pad area or general purpose RAM which is having address starting from 30H to the 70FH. So it consisting of total size of 80 bytes. These 32 bytes are again divided into four banks. Register bank 0, register bank 1, register bank 2 and register bank 3. Each bank is having 8 registers represented by R0 to R7. Not all the banks are active at a time for the 8051. In 8051, only one register bank is active at a time. By default, bank 0 is active. That means whenever microcontroller is resetted, by default, the register bank 0 is considered as the active bank of a 8051. First of all, we'll see register banks in detail. Register bank 0 is having 8 registers R0 to R7. Each register is having its own address. For example, R0 is having the address 00H, R1 will have the address 01H. Similarly, R7 will have the address 07H. Each register can be accessed either by its name or by its address. For example, R0 can be accessed either by using the name R0 or by using its address 00H. Similarly, R7 can be accessed by using its name R7 or by its address 07H. Similar to the register bank 0, register bank is having the 8 registers R0 to R7, but these registers occupy the next memory locations after the bank 0. That means it is having the address starting from 08H to the 0FH. Similarly, register bank 2 is having the registers R0 to R7, which occupies the next address that is 10H to the 17H. Register bank 3 having the register R0 to R7 with address 180H to the 1F. Yes. Next is bit addressable RAM, which is having the address 
starting from 20h to the 2fh. So these are the 16 bytes of a RAM memory. In some applications, microcontroller wants to store the result in the form of bits. So in such applications, this bit addressable area has been used. Now if you consider the bit addressable area, it, it is having each bit accessible by its own address. For example, if we take the 8 bits of address 20H, each bit is having the address. The LSB is having the address 00H and MSB bit is having the address 07H. Similarly, the next address 21H will have the LSB bit address 08H and MSB bit address 0FH. In this way, every bit of this bit addressable area is having certain address and we can access that bit for reading and writing by using its address. And the last part is scratch pad or general purpose RAM. It is having the address starting from 30H to the 7E of H. These are total 80 bytes of RAM memory. It is used generally for the storage of a data. This gives the complete view of 8051 RAM memory, which consisting of register band, bit addressable area, and scratch pad. Here, few key points of register bank has been highlighted, which are very important that we have already seen in the previous slides. RAM of 8051 has four register banks bank 0, bank 1, bank 2, and bank 3. Each of these register banks consisting of 8 registers, which are represented by R0 to R7. By default, register bank 0 is selected whenever the microcontroller has been resetted. We can select any other register bank by using the register bank select bits. These select bits are nothing but RS0 and RS1 of PSW register, which is also called as the program status word. At a time, only one register bank is active. When one register bank is active, other register bank is considered as simple RAM memory, which is accessible using the memory address. The space of a register bank is also used as a stack memory. As we have seen, whenever microcontroller is resetted, by default, bank 0 is selected, which takes the RAM memory space from 00H to the 07H. So these are the first 8 bytes of a RAM memory. Hence, the stack pointer always point to the 07H so that whenever the first data has been pushed on a stack memory, the stack pointer will be incremented to the 0ATH location and the first data on the stack has been stored. Next, ROM memory of 8051. It is also called as a program or code memory of 8051 as program has been stored in this memory. 8051 has on-chip ROM memory of 4 kilobytes. It is also called as the program memory of 8051 as program is stored on the ROM. The addressing space for ROM memory is from 000H to the FFFH. Suppose this is the ROM memory of 8051. So it is having a total size of 4 kilobytes and having the address starting from 000H to the FFFH. Now, whenever we store the program, the program has been stored in this ROM memory. We know that a program in 8051 is nothing but a series of instructions. So, one by one instructions will get stored in this memory starting from the first address. Each instruction may occupy one byte of a memory or some instructions may occupy two bytes on a memory. So in this way, 
the program has been stored on the ROM memory instruction by instruction sequentially.